All right, so we're here getting a preview of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. All right, we are on the way to board the Star Cruiser. All right. All right, so we are now heading into our launch pod. All right, so we've just came out of the launch pad and let's take a quick look around the atrium and I can see all kinds of interesting characters and not just the other bloggers, some Star Wars characters as well. We definitely have found some interesting creatures over here. So, so where exactly are we right now? Oh, I mean, we're on the, uh, the Halcyon. Uh, have you ever been on a ship this big? No, no, this is this is amazing. I haven't, I haven't have you been in space before? No, mind blown. Hi. We, you, you look like a very important person. Well, I would like to think so. It's, Captain Keaton, what was your name? Uh, my name is Rob. I'm not a captain, and, and, and I'm not any. I have no status whatsoever, so. Well, that's all right. You're all here as travelers, passengers to the galaxy. We're all here to enjoy the adventures together. All right, so we're going to walk into the Sublight Lounge over here. All right, so we're hanging out in the lounge over here. This is what it looks like over behind the bar. And we've got some other kind of gambling slot machine over here. I'm wondering if I can get a Coke Zero here or not. All right, so we're going to come down the hallway of the Galactic Star Cruiser here, and we're going to check out what a cabin looks like. All right, so we're walking into one of the rooms on the uh, Galactic Star Cruiser here. So as you can see, we've got the data pad here, which we'll show you a little bit more of in a second. Got a screen with some information. Got our porthole out looking out into space. And then over here, we've got the bed. Got your bunk over there. Looks like a little bit of storage under there. All right, let's take a look over in this direction. And let's see, bathroom, shower. And this over here is where all the important stuff happens. Hello, and welcome aboard. Hello, D3. Why, yes, I am D309. I'm so flattered that you already know my name. Is now a good time to discuss your journey? Perfect time. Wonderful. I'm the logistics droid of the Halcyon, and I'll be available to you here during your journey. I'm about to do some lightsaber training. I am not expecting to be up to a Jedi caliber uh, lightsaber. Oh, here we go. Nice forward. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we're gonna head into the bridge area right now, and this will give you a pretty good idea of the type of activities and storytelling that you'll see here on the uh, Galactic Star Cruiser. Locate crosshairs out the window. All right, we can do this. Okay, console one is moving. Console two is firing. We're destroying targets. And there we go. Here we are to next bridge training. This is interesting. So I'm moving this dial here to kind of move the little thing. This is like, like playing a Tempest arcade machine. I kind of like this. So we've got multiple different games going on at once during our training session. This is Colonel Graf Tallis of the First Order. Identify yourself. Captain Riona Keegan of the Star Cruiser Halcyon. Yes, the Halcyon. I keep seeing that name in my intelligence reports. Well, we are renowned for our service in storied history. We've studied your history, which is exactly why I installed one of my officers on your ship. Have you taken very good care of it? The lieutenant's investigation has intensified our suspicions. I believe the Halcyon and its crew are providing support to the resistance. It would be disappointing to find that the captain was at the center of it. I am sure. And of course, we must consider the actions of your passengers. The Halcyon is a civilian star... Given person. recent developments on Batu and our Star Destroyer, I'd say that's in question. We will find every last traitor aboard your ship. Until we do, the Halcyon is not to leave this orbit. I command this ship, and I must ensure the safety of my crew and passengers. How commendable. I will be dispatching a squadron of TIE fighters. They will soon form a perimeter around the Halcyon, ensuring that it stays right where I want it. In addition, until I eradicate the resistance scum, no one will be allowed to board or leave your ship. Okay. You heard the captain. Obviously, you're standing right there. Uh, that, that data pad. Okay. Um, we, we need to send that signal in fast. Um, okay. Um, watch the city control of the bridge. Confirmed. Training override disengaged. You have the bridge. All right, everyone. This is for the captain. No. This is for all of us. Let's get to that relay, yeah? Yeah! yeah! All right, guys. We're about to jump to hyperspace without the captain. Um, here we go, everyone. Prepare to jump to hyperspace in three, two, one. Punch it! Is now under the authority 
of the first four. So here's a map of the ship. We need your help. All right. because I believed that there was resistance activity on board. Friends of the Order have work to do. Who here among you is aware that that scavenger, Ray, is on board? Well, we imposed a blockade to give them time to reevaluate the decisions. But unfortunately, I can now confirm that Captain Keevan is planning an escape by jumping to hyperspace. The resistance has left us no choice but to act. So, we're going to sabotage the Halcyon's power systems. All right, so they've given me this data tape and this tool. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this tool, but it seems pretty real to me. All right, let's see what we can do with this stuff. Remember, when we press, press this button, we have a very little time. Do not press the button until I've given the order. I'm going to press it with we this thing, because it didn't time. tell me what this was actually supposed to be used for. I mean, that seems In to make three, sense, two, right? What? press! Well done. We have engaged the override. Whatever is on there, you must replicate the pattern Oh, here. I see. Okay, all right, all right. Excellent. So it's, it's like a video game. All right. Yay! There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we got to find that one. All right. All right, well done. Okay, what's next? Now we need to find these. Okay. Pull that one for me. Which one? This one? Everybody pull them. All right. Thank you. 
All I wanted is go to the buffet and get some chicken strips, and this is what we ended up doing, so. We must exit override. We cannot remain illegal. All right. Okay, where is this? Oh, I see. So it's this one. All right, so we've just arrived in the dining room over here, and I think we're gonna get a little bit of a tasting of some of the food that you can expect on the Galactic Star Cruiser. All right, so we're gonna take a look at some of the food we have here. I'm, I'm gonna go for the meat. That looks pretty damn good. All right, so we're told this is bantha meat. I've never actually eaten a bantha, so we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. Alright, so we were basically just told we have to leave the dining room and we're heading Can back up. To the atrium, please? Heading back up to the atrium. These are some of the crew members upstairs. They'll be a sergeant to guide you from the muster station. Where are we heading? Right this way, to a muster station, please. Not a drill. It's 
Alright, so that wraps up our preview of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser here at Walt Disney World. Truly a, uh, I'm just going to say it, an out of this world experience.